Good afternoon, Africa. Um, I'm Wes Bill Checkers, uh, also known as Jonathan, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, becoming an administrator on the English Wikipedia. I gather that uh, French and uh, other major languages have fairly similar processes to what I'm talk about to talk about, uh, but they're not quite the same. So uh, apologies for that if you're uh, mainly interested in the French Wikipedia. So first of all, what is an administrator and why would any of you want to become one? Um, administrators or admins are Wikipedians who the community has entrusted with some extra buttons. Most famously, the block button and the deletion button. We can block users, we can delete pages, and we can undelete. Um, but there are others, and also ad admins close contentious discussions. Admins are also usually the pool from whom the community chooses arbitrators, check users, and bureaucrats. Um, check users and oversighters in particular, it's, it, you, you've got a more advanced set of, what, of the tools that the admins have, so it's logical to have those chosen from existing administrators. Um, so why do we have an issue on this? This is a slide showing the number of active editors on Wikipedia. Um, and traditionally, we divided the, the era of Wikipedia into three ages. The first age, the exponential growth era, where the number of all sorts of things was going up, and the number of active editors went to over 60,000 um, at a peak in 2007, which is about the time I started editing. And then there was the death spiral era through to 2014, with a number of editors falling by more than a third to just under 40,000 active editors. Um, and there are a number of things that contributed to this. We started requiring people to have inline citation to reliable sources instead of just writing anything on the project. Um, the, um, the removal of vandalism became more and more automated and um, edit filters came in in sort of 2011 era um, so an awful lot of the juvenile vandalism was rejected without even becoming an edit. And when you lost that vandalism edit, you also lost the, uh, the two good edits, one to revert it and the other one to warn the vandal. Um, and so by, by late 2014, we hit this minima um, and the 2015 rally happened, things stabilized and the number of active editors has kind of oscillated for what is now more than a third really of the life of the project um, and it's oscillated at around 40,000 or just below. When we look at the number of new administrators we've had in that time we have a very different pattern um, there's the era of exponential growth up to 2007 when we had 408 new administrators in a single year. Um, then there's an era decline through to 2014 um, with it dropping first to, in half to just 201 and by 2014 it's dropped to 22. So that's a drop of more than 90% in the number of new administrators we're appointing each year. Um, and since then, it's stayed at about that level or just below this gentle drop. Um, uh, when I'm recording this, we've had nine new administrators this year, I think. I'm hoping that by Wiki and Darba, that figure will have risen to 11, but that's still about one per month. So a quick rule of thumb, we, if we have 500 or so active administrators on the English Wikipedia and we're appointing one per month, uh, we need the, each administrator to stay with us as a volunteer, as an active member of the community for about 40 years for that to kind of work out. Um, I won't live for 40 years after the date when I became an administrator and um, uh, let alone remain active on the same volunteer project. Um, so we have a bit of an issue. We either need to find a way of extending the life of our administrators or maybe a bit more realistically, persuade a few more people to, um, amongst our existing editors, to become administrators. So how do we appoint admins? Um, we apply for admin through a process called Request for Adminship, 
also known as RFA or um, in less flattering terms. It's a seven day online discussion where any member of the community can join in and sometimes over 300 do. Um, you do control the timing of it as a candidate, um, but you will wind up with 24 or 30 questions or so. And it has been compared to taking a driving test with a coach full of examiners who are arguing about the criteria more than about the candidate. So what do the voters look for? There are some unwritten rules and expectations. It's not codified. Um, a minimum of between 12 months and 24 months in the community. And that's not just the broader Wikimedia community, that's specifically the English language Wikipedia. Um, at least 4,000 manual edits. Some people expect even more than that. Um, uh, automated edits are given less weight at, um, at, at, at request for admission. No blocks in the last 12 months, unless you've got a really, really good explanation, like somebody apologized for accidentally blocking you. Um, and blocks earlier than that, it, um, it helps to have a good explanation. It depends on the reason for it. Um, you need to have contributed some reference content. You need to be able to show you understand what a reliable source is um, and how to do an inline citation on there. Um, there are some people who have higher standards than, than others and expect um, some good articles to be contributed, um, but they're relatively a minority compared to the general community on that. Um, it also helps to have had some accurate tagging for deletion or some um, valid arguments for deletion and deletion discussions for or against deletion, um, saving articles at, at for at articles for deletion, uh, taking part in some of the notice boards such as AIV or usernames for admin attention as well. Um, particularly if those are the if those notice boards are relevant to the particular tools that you plan to start out at with as an administrator. Um, it also helps to have a nominator. One of the reasons why I'm talking to you, you guys is that uh, we, re we realize a lot of new editors have emerged in Africa and there isn't a network of experienced nominators and experienced administrators in the African community. So um, there's it helps to have an experienced nominator advise you through the process. There is a list of potential nominators at Wikipedia request and an RFA nomination, editors willing to be asked to nominate a user. Um, helps to check if those people are still active. And ideally you want a nominator who um, has operated in, in, in similar areas of similar sorts of functions on Wikipedia to yourself. The good thing about RFA is that unanimity is not required. Um, it's nice to have over 300 votes and only one against, as, as has been known to happen. Um, but most fully qualified candidates and most fully qualified candidates will pass with close to 100% support. Candidates with less than 65% support usually fail. Um, over 75% support usually pass in between 65 and 75 percent is a zone for bureaucrat discussion and normally we will have a, a what we call a crack chat um, if we've got somebody in the middle of that zone thank you for your patience and listening um, does anyone have any questions <laughs>